coming up. <laughs> okay, I've got several jobs. Um, coxswain on the lifeguard boat. So my job is to patrol up and down all the beaches in Brighton and Hove. It's not nine till five, it's unsociable hours. You're on the boat for eight hours of the day. You've got to be constantly alert, um, watching out for things, listening out for all, all the lifeguard posts. And then when the weather's rough, it's also quite stressful because you've got to make sure that you keep yourself, your lifeguard safe, and also um, be on call for anyone else that needs any assistance on the beach. The second job is just freelance work. So I do just take people out on yachts. You get um, children doing activity weeks, you get corporate groups wanting to do um, team building, and you get um, birthday parties, hen and stag groups. They're probably the most hilarious because they all turn up with their canapes and their bottles of Prosecco. And then as soon as we exit the marina, it's one of the most precarious marina entrances here in Brighton. And as soon as you exit, the boat just suddenly starts going up and down on the waves and the canopies go flying and everyone's looking a bit green. But I, yeah, I just love being out doing that kind of thing. It's outdoors, it's, it's exciting, it's got responsibility. very hectic in the morning trying to get ready for work and get the kids off to school trying to do all their pack lunches get all their stuff ready and then get all my stuff ready as you know I have eight hours out on the boat so I need to make sure I've got enough food I need to have flasks of tea coffee water all my gear and then I take them down to the school sometimes I come back then try and cook Evie meal and then I cycle to the marina with all my gear uh, if it's a southwesterly then it's doubly hard other than that, it's a really nice cycle. I do love the cycle, um, unless I'm late. Okay, this is the commute to work. I'm late. Yeah, so the most, probably the most difficult thing is organising childcare, which any other working mum would know, or dad. Kids finish school at 3.15 and I don't get home till 7. I don't see them till it's bedtime. I try and make it so that Woody doesn't need to pick up the kids until around about 5. Luckily I've got some really good friends around, so if they're at a friend's he'll go and pick them up from there. Sometimes he has to do it early if I can't organise that. When he's away, um, it's even more difficult. Woody finds, you know, he's not used to doing the kids and he finds it quite difficult. And um, 
I'll just leave that one. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Summer holidays are coming up. I can't do so much work, so I have to cut back. So I'm kind of like torn between wanting to go out and do my work, which I really enjoy as well, and being with the children. I mean, the other thing this summer is we're supposed to be kind of unwinding everything and packing up and moving on. And um, I'm gonna have to try and work that out around the kids. So that's gonna be a bit challenging. You've got to kind of keep the house going. The house actually turns out like a complete tip. The kitchen's never like this in the summer holidays. It's just, you're making packed lunches, you're going out doing things, come back, tea, it's just kind of constant. It's like being a catering industry sometimes. Um, it's about keeping them active, really. If they stay too long in the house, they all start fighting. Um, the other challenging thing is um, when I'm at home with the kids, I'm often on call for the lifeboat, so you never know when that might happen. You're always kind of aware that the, the page could go off. But the last shout was a few nights ago. It was a night I'd been lifeguarding all day, so I was exhausted, and it was a boat in trouble outside the marina, engine failure, and had to be towed in. So I went around about midnight probably and got back in around about two that takes about half an hour to kind of calm down again and then get to sleep so I don't know how many now of sleep I got that night really and the next day I was up it was school day I think and um, I was back on lifeguard duty from 10 30 for another eight hours I don't know what's for dinner right, we'll just leave that subject it's been censored <laughs> we forgot I've got my phone. This is like the story of my life. Uh, I've got my pager. Because I like to have lots of things going and always be on call. Bye. Bye.